Hey guys, what's up, Virgo? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way. Ooh, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, immediate future for the birds. All right, wow, could be some communication coming in. I'm seeing it the whole time. Somebody's very attracted to you. We'll see. Immediate future for the birds. What's the word for the birds? The word is someone will turn your back or walk away or just really holding back. That's the word. Media future. <laughs> Sorry, I need mean, that word. Mm. We'll take what flipped. All right, well, your sunshine is here. Your mutual love is here. Okay. You've been thinking about it. Oh, okay. The sunshine broke your heart. Or somebody's been just trying to heal from a separation, a heartbreak. But definitely been thinking about, like, the happy times. Tell me um, about this Three of Swords. The Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. You could have been dealing with a player or something. It could have been an age difference or just a situation where the scales weren't balanced. One person was giving more than they were getting back. You know, somebody could have been in and out a lot, not really settled down. But this was your happiness. However, somewhere along the line, there was a heartbreak and possibly a time of like just trying to heal and no communication or very little communication. Yeah, waiting for communication. But I think you put a lot of time and energy. Shit, you could have put a lot of time and money into this as well. Show me this two of cups for Virgo. This is mutual love, though. A bond between two people. Show me this two, two of cups, please, for Virgo. Oh, wow. So there could be an opportunity to move forward here. Um... It's about moving forward with that two of wands, but there's a choice. And with that seven of wands next to it, it makes me feel like there's something kind of blocking that path. And that could just be hold back, you know, heartbreak. What is the seven of wands? Oh no. Somebody wants to go completely for it. They want to stand for this union, this bond, this situation. They want to move forward. Feeling good, feeling frisky, and they want to take that leap. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's been all about divine timing. The things are moving forward. Show me this judgment for Virgo. This could be a, um, way too many, but I think you're pretty pissed off with this person. You're still pretty defensive of your heart here, or vice versa. The judgment is about... Okay. The judgment can be a reconciliation, but it's about trying to work on past issues, trying to fix past issues. And the issue here was heartbreak, pain, separation, possibly, you know, things not really being balanced. Give me one more card. Do you have a star card, Aquarius energy? I think you're... With the four cups there, it's almost like, okay, so the star is somebody kind of still holding on, but it's almost like somebody is, you know, maybe kind of getting to the point that they feel like this isn't going to happen. You could be rejecting this offer that was once your wish as well. 
But we have the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So somebody is very much, this is anxiety and um, like a mental imprisonment that we put ourselves in. So it's like somebody is stressed all the way out that this is over or that they're being um, backstabbed. But this is like not seen clearly with these two cards. So it, it could be two things. Like somebody's kind of giving up hope, feeling like this is gone and it was once a wish. Definitely wanting to work on this though because they have such a fear that it's over. So this could actually be like, um, you know, afraid to even step up to speak up because they, they're afraid that their offer is going to get rejected. But you have two cards there for the outcome that show me that somebody still wants to work on this. But I think on one side, I don't know, but your side, somebody is kind of like losing faith that that's going to happen. Worried that this is like done. Worried that it's over. So it's like they feel like they need to make a move. Could be um, a Taurus. Um, or a marriage, it could have been something long term commitment. But see, this is the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But she's that logical thinker. You could, um, she doesn't take much bullshit, and she protects her heart because she's had it broken in the past. So she, she kind of, she's a logical thinker, but she bypasses that. She wants love, but she's also afraid of, you know, she doesn't want to get her, herself hurt again. So she gets like in this logical mindset. So don't do that because that's not serving you. But there's also with this like guards that someone has up. Um, this queen definitely doesn't take any shit. But somebody is, is manifesting here. They're manifesting their wish, something stable. So this person would definitely is, is coming back around. But I feel like you're kind of pissed at them. Or vice versa. Like, um. You know, just very protective of yourself right now. Because somebody is stressed like crazy that this is over. I wouldn't expect it to, um, you know, actually, I don't see it as over. Could work with this person. Um, Gemini energy as well. A lot of attraction. But also with the Queen of Swords. She takes that sword and she cuts out with no longer serves her here. So I think this on some some side, someone's worried like that's that's what's happening. But definitely hanging on to the hope and would like to like address issues and work on them and manifest this wish. All right, Virgo. I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. Um yeah, that's all I got. All right, so please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, you find that information below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.